after studying this module you shall be able to know the meaning of accounting standards and their relevance in reporting identify the need for their issue identify the standard setting process in major economies like uk and usa understand the process of issue of accounting standards in india evaluate their pros and cons evaluate limitations of accounting standards now let us understand the meaning of accounting standards a standard is an agreed upon criteria of what has to be a proper practice in a given situation a basis for comparison and judgment a point of departure where variation is justifiable by the circumstances and reported as such standards are not designed to confine practice within rigid limits but rather to serve as guide post to truth honesty and fair dealing they are not accidental but intentional in origin they are expected to be expressive of the deliberately chosen policies of the highest types of businessman and the most experienced accountants they direct a high but attainable level of performance without precluding justifiable departures and variations in the procedures employed accounting standards deal mainly with financial measurements and disclosures used in producing a collection of fairly presented financial statements the standards that are not acceptable cannot be passed on as enforcement and thus such unenforced standards are not valid hence standards should be enforced with compulsion so that they hold the true meaning of their existence accounting standards are structured policy documents issued either by an already appointed accounting authority or the government or through other regulatory body encompassing the elements of recognition covering the aspects of recognition calculation presenting and disclosing one's accounting transactions with the help of financial statements the primary significative motive of these bodies which set standard is the collection of data regarding the financial position and health of a company which of great concern to shareholders and other investors and maybe others who find this data very useful these standards set fixed procedures for collection of financial data they set formats and provide a basic outline that is similar and easy to understand and compare while understanding similarities by employing the set accounting standards we can ensure limited options in preparation of financial statements thus bringing out rationality to ensure comparability of statements of different companies accounting standard deal with the issues of first identification of events and transactions in the financial statements second quantification of these transactions and events third presentation of all relevant transactions and events in the financial statement in such a way that is easily interpretable by the reader fourth the disclosure requirements which should be there to enable the public at large and the stakeholders and the potential investors in particular to interpret the content of these financial statements in order to better forecast and manage future decisions accounting standards encompass various accounting policies with a view to first enable comparability of financial statements so that it becomes a reliable measure of overall financial know how of a company second state a set of standard accounting policies valuation conventions and disclosure requirements now who should set standards here is a brief discussion on who should set accounting standards the first is government the second private sector and the third agency the arguments for government as standard setter first a government can better enforce compliance with accounting standards in that it is backed by enforcement power of law accounting standards have a force of law therefore should be established by a government second 
non compliance and explicit criticisms by business enterprises create difficulties in the enforcement of standards governments who command a reasonable majority may promulgate those accounting reforms which they desire without major and costly consensus seeking activity third government should better bring the variety of intellectual disciplines that should be brought to bear on accounting standards economics lawyers investments as well as i repeat investors as well as accountants a government should act more quickly on pressing problems and would be more responsive to the public interest the problems which are associated with the government being a standard setter are the following first the process of accounting regulation by the government is lengthy and does not possess flexibility the difficulty of getting them through the legislature may discourage efforts to change accounting standards and may lead to rigidity second legislature may be seen as generally rubber stamping the idea of interested civil servants and those who have influence on them and politicians third the standards and regulations set up by government may fall short of objectivity and accuracy now we will discuss upon the private sector as the standard setting body the reasons being first a private sector standard setting body would be more responsive to the needs of diverse interest more appreciative of the complexities of modern business hence more tolerant of judgmental decisions on the part of accounting practitioners and more sensitive to the cost of providing and using information second government should neither attract enough high quality talent nor devote sufficient resources to standard setting the next is standard setting by agency the agency may have technical expertise and may employ qualified professionals to handle the technical matters then that of private sector accounting standard bodies such agencies should be able to promulgate accounting regulations and standard in a more speedy and efficient way than the government such an agency would have the clear and explicit support of the government and the legislature therefore all advantages which are claimed in favor of government as a standard setter also accrue to such agencies also it would be accountable to society than any private sector bodies however some fears have been expressed about a government backed agency as standard setter it is contended that agency's function may be arbitrary such agencies are very susceptible to political pressure government pressure and lobbying from vested groups it is thus difficult to say categorically that standard setting should be done by government or private sector body or any government backed agency in united states gap is set primarily by the private sector with government oversight in many other countries such as france the government actually sets accounting standards now we will discuss upon the standard setting bodies accounting standard setting bodies are national or international organization that have been delegated responsibility for setting generally accepted accounting principles by statute in a country or jurisdiction such accounting institutions or bodies are currently found in many countries of the world example accounting standard board india financial accounting standard board usa accounting standard board uk accounting standards committee canada etc at the international level international accounting standard board has been created to formulate and publish in the public interest basic standards to be observed in the presentation of audited accounts and financial statements and to promote their worldwide acceptance and observance next we will discuss about accounting standard setting in uk and usa the first in discussion is accounting standard setting in the uk that is united kingdom generally accepted accounting principles uk the generally accepted accounting principles gap in the uk are the overall body establishing 
how companies account must be prepared in the United Kingdom. The standards of accounting have been derived from a number of sources. The major standard setting body being the Accounting Standard Board, which issues standards called Financial Reporting Standards. The ASB is part of the Financial Reporting Council, an autonomous regulator funded by a levy on listed companies and it replaced the Accounting Standard Committee. The principal legislation governing reporting in the United Kingdom is laid down in the Companies Act 2006, which incorporates the requirement of European law. The Companies Act set out certain minimum reporting requirements for companies. From the year 2005, the reporting framework changed as a result of European law requiring that all listed European companies report under international financial reporting standards. In the United Kingdom, companies which are not listed have the option to report either under IFRS or under UK CAP. The next in discussion is United States Accounting Standards. Generally accepted accounting principles, US. In the aftermath of the Enron and WorldCom crisis and subsequent developments with the Sarbanes-Oxley Act, the Financial Accounting Standard Board in United States and the standards they issue are in the spotlight. In the US, generally accepted accounting principle, they are commonly aggravated as CAP, are accounting rules to prepare, present and report financial statements for a wide variety of entities including public and private companies. The Financial Accounting Standard Board is a private, not-for-profit organization whose primary purpose is to develop a generally accepted accounting principles within the United States in the public interest. The US SEC is a federal agency which holds primary responsibilities for enforcing the federal securities laws and regulating the securities industry, the nation's stock and option exchanges, and other electronic securities market in the United States. Similar to many other countries practicing under the common law system, the United States government does not directly set accounting standard in the belief that the private sector has better knowledge and resources. Currently, the Financial Accounting Standard Board is the highest authority in establishing generally accepted accounting principles for public and private companies as well as non-profit making entities. For local and state government, GAAP is determined by the Governmental Accounting Standard Board which operates under a set of assumptions, principles and constraints different from those of standard private sector GAAP. Financial reporting in federal government entities is regulated by the Federal Accounting Standards Advisory Board. The US GAAP provisions differ from the International Financial Reporting Standards, though the former Security and Exchange Commission Chairman Chris Koss has set out a timetable for all the US companies to drop the GAAP and switch to IFRS. Now let us discuss accounting standard setting in India. The Institute of Chartered Accountants of India being an important accounting body in the country took upon itself the role of leadership by establishing the Accounting Standard Board in the year 1977. The ICAI has taken certain important initiatives in the making and issuing procedure of standards of accounting to ensure that the process of standard setting is fully transparent and consultative. The ASB takes into account the international accounting standards, international financial reporting standards while setting Indian accounting standards and try to combine them in the light of the applicable customs, law, business environment and usages in the country. The ASB comprises of spokesperson of industries namely CII, FICI, ASOCHEM, academicians, government, department, regulators, etc. Although ASB is a body constituted by the council of the ICAI, it is an independent in the construction of standards of accounting 
and Council of the ICAI does not have the power to make any changes in the draft standard of accounting prepared by ASP without consultation of the ASP. The procedure of standard setting of accounting standard board is as follows. Identification of wide areas of ASP for formulation of accounting standards. Formulation of study groups by ASP for consideration of certain specific projects and to prepare preliminary drafts of the proposed accounting standards. The draft usually includes scope and objective of the standards, definitions of the terms which are used in the standard, measurement and recognition principles wherever they can be applied and presentation and reporting requirements. Consideration of the preliminary draft developed by the study group of ASP and modification, if any, of the draft based on the deliberations. Circulation of draft of standard of accounting after modification by ASP to the council members of the ICAI and specified outside bodies such as Department of Company Affairs, Securities and Exchange Board of India, Comptroller and Auditor General of India, Central Board of Direct Taxes, Standing Conference of Public Enterprises for their valuable comments. Meeting with the representatives of the certain specific outside bodies to find out their views on the draft of the proposed standard of accounting. Finalization of the exposure draft of the suggested accounting standard and its issuance which invites comments of the public. Consider comments received on the exposure draft and finalizing the draft standard accounting by the ASP for submitting it to the Council of the ICAI for its approval and consideration for issuance. Consideration of the final draft of the proposed standard by the Council of the ICAI and if found necessary, modification of the draft in consultation with ASP is done. Now we will discuss upon the benefits of accounting standards. Accounting standards seek to explain the principles of accounting, the techniques of valuation and the methods of application of the accounting principles in the preparation and reporting of financial statement so as to give a fair and true view. By setting the standards of accounting, the accountant has following advantages. The first. Standardization of alternative accounting treatments. When alternative methods of estimating and economic activity exist, it is important that the method which is best available should be used orderly within a firm, by various firm and to the extent practicable, by different industries. Standards reduce to a great extent or terminate altogether variations that are confusing in the treatments of accounting used to prepare statements of financial information. Second, requirements for additional disclosure. There are certain areas where important information is not statutorily required to be disclosed. Standards may call for disclosure beyond that required by law. The third, comparability of financial statements. The application of accounting standard would to be a limited extent ensure comparison of financial statement of company located in various parts of the world and also of various companies located in the same country. However, it should be noted in this respect that differences in the institutions, tradition and legal system from one country to another give rise to difference in accounting standard adopted in different countries. Accounting standard can be described as a vehicle whereby the wisdom and experience of the profession emerges as a consensus in a complex and changing economic and business situation in preference to the views of individual compilers of financial statements. Accounting as a language of business communicates the financial results and health of an enterprise to various interested parties by means of periodical financial statements. Like any other language, accounting should have its grammar, that is some set of rules and that is accounting standards. Now we will discuss upon the limitations of setting accounting standards. 
However, there are some limitations of setting of accounting standards. First, difficulties in making choice between different treatments. Alternative solutions to various problems of accounting may have arguments to advocate them. Therefore, it may become difficult to make a choice between various alternative solutions available. Second, lack of flexibilities. There may be a trend away from flexibility and towards rigidity in application of the accounting standards. The third, restricted scope. Accounting standard cannot override the statute. The standards are required to be framed within the ambit of prevailing statutes. Accounting standard at present. In India, there will be two set of accounting standard. The first, the existing Indian accounting standard applicable to all companies which are not required to adopt IFRS converged standards. The second, Indian accounting standard as converged with IFRS shall apply to companies operating in India in a phased manner. The date of implication of Indian Accounting Standard AS is 1st April 2015 as a voluntary standard. 1st April 2016 as a mandatory standard for specified companies expected to be with effect from financial year 2016 till 17. The Council of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India so far issued 32 accounting standard. However, accounting standard 8 on accounting for research and development has been withdrawn consequence to the issuance of accounting standard 26 on intangible assets. Thus, effectively, there are 31 accounting standards at present. The accounting standards issued by the accounting standard board establish standard which have to be compiled by the business entities so that the financial statements are prepared in accordance with generally accepted accounting principles. Accounting standards mandatory as on September 1, 2014. First, Accounting Standard 1 Disclosure of Accounting Policies Accounting Standard 2 Valuation of Inventories Accounting Standard 3 Cash Flow Statement Accounting Standard 4 Contingencies and Events Occurring After Balance Sheet Date Accounting Standard 5 Net Profit or Loss for the Period, Prior Period Items and Changes in Accounting Policies Accounting Standard 6 Depreciation Accounting Accounting Standard 7 Construction Contracts Accounting Standard 9 Revenue Recognition Accounting Standard 10 Accounting for Fixed Assets AS 11 The Effects of Changes in Foreign Exchange Rates AS 12 Accounting for Government Grants AS 13 Accounting for Investment AS 14 Accounting for Amalgamation AS 15 Employee Benefits AS 16 Borrowing Cost AS 17 Segment Reporting AS 18 Related Party Disclosure AS 19 Leases AS 20 Earnings Per Share AS 21 Consolidated Financial Statement AS 22 Accounting for Taxes on Income AS 23 Accounting for Investment in Associates in Consolidated Financial Statements AS 24 Discontinuing Operations AS 25 Interim Financial Reporting AS 26 Intangible Assets AS 27 Financial Reporting of Interest in Joint Venture AS 28 Impairment of Assets and the last AS 29 provisions contingent liabilities and contingent assets. The accounting standards non-mandatory as in September 1, 2014 are AS 30 Financial Instruments Recognition and Measurement AS 31 Financial Instruments Presentation AS 32 Financial Instruments Disclosure The last topic of discussion is Summary Standards are agreed upon major or criteria consisting of best practices which are issued regularly by a body empowered to do so. The organizations that set standards function by analyzing present accounting principles and practices and suggest the best through standards. Accounting theory by issuing standards 
provides guidance and direction on how business enterprise could achieve the aim of proper transparency, record keeping, comparability, uniformity and enhancing public trust in financial reporting. There is a debate about which body should set the standards by the government, by the private sector or by the agency. There are certain standard setting organization like FASP and the Institute of Chartered Accountant of India. Financial Accounting Standard Board set the US gap. There are eight stage of issuing standard. There are certain limitation of standard. There are 31 Indian accounting standards.